Thanks for joining me to keep up with the fast world of data science. Now buckle up as we leap inside the black box. Tech companies are not believe pushing slick stories to move products and sway policy. In my book Number Sense, I explain why the monetary loss from pirated software is vastly overstated. That's because they assign a loss to every pirated copy of software. The catch is a good proportion of the purchases of pirated software would never pay the full price for the genuine software. How do I know that to be true? If they were willing to pay the full price, they would have purchased the real thing instead of the pirated copies in the first place. So in the world writ of piracy, a good chunk of that demand would vanish. For the past several years, Tesla has been making the bold claim that driving his cars saves lives. In today's video, I'll tell you why the Tesla story is full of hope. Tesla keeps trotting out that government statistic that the average automotive fatality rate in the US is 1 per 85 million vehicle months. And Tesla claims that its fatality rate is 1 per 320 million vehicle miles. So Tesla is four times safer. Tesla says that its autopilot technology, which is a form of self-driving technology, saves lives because humans are lousy drivers. The catch is that the Tesla owner is not your average American car buyer. Tesla is a luxury brand and a status symbol. The average Tesla owner has household income of $140,000. So Tesla should be compared to the luxury segment. If these buyers did not purchase Tesla, they would probably have bought a BMW or similar brand of luxury car. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, which sources fatality data from the government, the average death rate for all cars is about 40 deaths per million vehicle years. The luxury car segment is by far the safest in the US. Its death rate is about a third of the overall average, estimated to be 13 deaths per million vehicle years. Based on a careful analysis by the blogger Midwestern Hedgy, Tesla's death rate up to now is about 40 deaths per million vehicle years. This rate is roughly double the rate for comparable luxury cars and about the same as the average rate for all cars. Tesla's death rate is particularly hard to come by because the, its cars are so new, the government analysis do not cover them yet. When the blogger Midwestern Hedgy went deep into the raw data, he discovered that the data for Tesla is particularly patchy and filled with errors, which tend to undercount Tesla-related fatalities. Because there are few fatalities in the luxury segment, even a small amount of undercounting shifts the rates a lot. The Tesla story will be harder to defend over time. Because for any business, the first customers have better characteristics than the later customers. Tesla will need to grow its user base by offering lower price models, which will attract more risky drivers, which would then drive its death rate up. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. See you next time inside the black box. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.